So hi everyone, uh, welcome to the conference. Uh, we are really excited to have you here today. My name is Ivan Churkovic and I'm engineering manager at Docker. So today I want to talk to you how you can accelerate your Gen AI adoption using containers. So there is a lot of movement around AI and machine learning in today's world. So what is helpful is to think about three categories. And those are first AI platforms and tools and companies like Hugging Face, NVIDIA, OpenAI. So they, they are building infrastructure, they are building platforms and tools that help you scale and run your AI applications. On the other side, we have trusted open source projects. So those are frameworks, libraries that are available to anyone for free. And they are really guiding and leading the development and research in the ecosystem. And on the third place, I would say Gen AI and large language models. So every day we see new large language models that are coming up. One good example is Meta's Llama models that are really driving the new capabilities of large language models that we could use on, in our applications. So how container fit in this all? So by using containers, we can interact with any of these companies, projects, or LLM models. So what containers bring us is easy, isolated, and trusted like environments that could be consistent and run on any machine. It's not um, important where they run. Like they, they will work as, as the intended. Uh, what this enables for us is rapid experimentation and prototyping. So you can spin up multiple different versions of your models, of your configuration, and see what, what is working good for you. Um, it also simplifies dependency management. So if you can imagine having a PyTorch with different def the models, with different data sets, you want to make sure that all these dependencies are working correctly together, and they are not affecting other projects that you have on your system. So making them isolated in containers really simplifies everything. OK, Let's see the clicker. Ah, OK, it works. So I want to show you how this works in real life. So this is one example of the architecture of our prototype um, application that we have that is actually Visual Studio Code extension that will help you write Docker files for your projects. You don't need to know anything about Docker, but using this AI-powered application, you can run your Docker files. So what, what LLM needs and supports calling the functions. So these functions will give extra information about your project. We wrapped all of these functionalities inside Docker containers. For example, analyze the project, write a Docker file, or get scout recommendation. Docker scout will give you a recommendation for a perfect base image for your, that is with less vulnerabilities, for example, or that is up to date. So on the other side, we have system prompts. It's a set, set of instructions, text files that we feed the large language model and give it additional knowledge, additional context. This dramatically improves the output of the large language model. So the, this is really important to say. And at the end, we, we have a client that will user will start with the client conversation with own prompts, and then client will coordinate the large language models, responses, and the tools requests. So this everything works together, and you can start empty project, ask for a Docker file, and it will use the, the best recommendation to, to, to have a perfect uh, Docker file for your project. Um, so what I wanted as to give you as a key takeaways from this short talk is prompts encapsulate knowledge. So what are the best practices 
save it as a prompt, use containers to encapsulate tools, so this will increase flexibility and security. If you want to make sure that one, one tool, one function only has read access or read-write access, so you can enable this with the containers. You think about your problem in a smaller number of components that are uh, decomposed, and we also need to think about reliability and how we can handle retries and uh, durable execution patterns. So, yeah, so what, what I would like to say is uh, the development is getting more demanding, more complex, and it, is, it will continue to do this. So we see containers as a really the best way to achieve consistency across your development and deployment is DevOps. So regardless where you are in your container journey, Docker is industry standard when it comes to driving efficiently containerization across the enterprises. So feel free to join our open source community. You can try our new copilot extension that, that will dry, write your Docker files for you, and you can learn more about Docker uh, on the website. And thank you, and have a great conference.